Vex Animations make your social media videos look professional, which is exactly what you need. Today you're gonna learn two simple and clean text animations in Premiere Pro. Let's start with the first text animation, a slide up where every letter comes in separately. By the way, you can download the project file with all the assets down below. First, select the text tool in the toolbar, then click in your program monitor and start typing in some text. I'm going for basics. When you're done, make sure to click the selection tool and drag your text to the middle of your frame. You can do that by holding down control. Now in the effects library, find the crop effect. Drag it on your graphics layer. Back in the effect controls, select the crop effect and go to the program monitor. Then create a box around the first letter. You'll understand why in a second. All right, next, find the transform effect and also drag it on your graphic layer. Then in the effect controls, make sure the transform effect is located underneath the crop effect. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay, so set a position keyframe, then move back in time and drag the position all the way down. Thanks to the crop effect, the letter will now appear out of nowhere. Next, move a little further in time and copy the last keyframe, then paste it. Now move further in time again and copy and paste the first keyframe as well. That way it will disappear. And now it's time to ease some keyframes. To do that, expand the velocity curves and pull the lever of the second keyframe. This will ease the animation in. Then for the last animation, pull the lever of the first keyframe. This will ease the animation out. Of course, don't forget get to enable motion blur by increasing the shutter angle. All right, so that was it for the heavy lifting. Next, we're gonna duplicate the graphic layer in the timeline and select the duplicate. Then in the effect controls, go to the crop effect. Then adjust the box so that the second letter will come in. That will automatically create the same animation like the first letter. Then go back to the timeline and do the same thing for the other letters. Next, to create this one by one effect, we're gonna offset the layers. Select all the layers except for the first one, then press Alt and hit the arrow right key three times. That will move it three frames further in time. Then select everything on top of the second clip and do the same thing. Keep doing that until you've offset them all. It's not necessary, but if you want, you can now nest them to keep everything clean. Now, besides text animations, creators need more time. Believe me, I understand. Kling AI is a free tool that actually helps me create my videos. I just record them, just like I'm doing now. Then I drag them into the software and boom, it cuts away all my bad takes, breaths, repeated sentences, and it's right here in Premiere. The good thing is that it actually keeps the source intact, so you can still make adjustments in Premiere. If you want, you can add a script to Kling and that will make sure it's extremely accurate. After that, you can choose what you want Kling to do. Little bonus trick, the remove audio noise and enhance feature work really well. So much better than Premiere. Once it's done, you can use the text-based editing feature if you want. Next, I always adjust the pacing too fast because these are studio recordings for tutorials. This way the cuts are much tighter. If you go to enhance tab, you can let Gling add b-roll to your videos, which is useful if you're telling stories or for short form content. All that's left to do now is export it to an XML and then drag the file straight into Premiere. With all the channels I'm running, this application saves me an hour per day. Thank you, Gling AI, so much for sponsoring this video. Next, we're gonna create this very cool 3D animation. First, make sure the properties panel is opened up. You can find it back here in the window menu. Next, start with selecting the rectangle tool in the toolbar. Then in the program monitor, click and drag to create a box. Then in the properties panel, make sure the fill is disabled and the stroke is enabled. I have my stroke set to white. Next, make sure your clip is selected. Then select the text tool again and type in some text. Adjust it so it fits your box and there you go. You can select a rectangle too and adjust the size to make it fit around your text perfectly. Next, select the text layer in the properties panel and hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate it. Then select the bottom text and disable the fill. Then enable the stroke. Make sure to set the stroke to inner. That way you can't see it unless you hide the top layer with the fill still enabled. Now that we have all our assets, it's time to animate them. First, find the basic 3D effect in the effect browser and drag it on your graphic layer. We want this effect to be applied to the rectangle only. So drag it down until it's on top of the rectangle. Then in the effect controls, set a tilt keyframe. Then move the playhead back in time and adjust the tilt to 90 degrees. Of course, don't forget to ease the last keyframe to make it all look smooth. Next, we want the same animation on the text layer. To do that, go to the properties panel and copy the basic 3D effect. Then paste it. This time, drag it on top of the first basics layer. You can hide the 
top one if you want. Now, there's one problem. This basic 3D effect doesn't only work on the text layer, but on everything below it. To fix that, we're gonna select both the text and the basic 3D layer and right click it. Then choose create group. That way the effect is only applied to the text layer inside this folder. Now in the effect controls, we're gonna adjust the animation slightly. Make sure the playhead is on the first keyframe and instead of 90 degrees, adjust it to minus 90 degrees. That will instantly look cooler. Next, we're going back to the rectangle. I basically copied the last keyframe and then pasted it. Then I animated the tilt so it only makes one rotation. Of course, ease the keyframes to make it smoother. Now in this movement, we're gonna fill the inside of the text layer. That's where the top layer in the properties panel comes in. Make sure it's enabled again and go to the effect controls. Make sure the playhead is on the moment before the rectangle starts turning. Then find opacity and click the pen tool to create a mask. In the program monitor, draw a mask on top of the text text. This will make it disappear. Then set a mask path keyframe. Move further in time and adjust the mask so it follows the top of the rectangle. That way the fill of the text will reveal itself. That looks super cool. Every video editor needs After Effects. So to continue the lesson, click the video right here on my left. Thank you so much for watching.